So I assume we've all had a hard time fighting Sanitar, and those of us who have found him sometimes kind of regret finding him. He's one of the most annoying scav bosses to deal with in the game, and especially for me personally, I'm not a fan of him, and it's hard to deal with him when you do find him, so here's a little guide on how you do deal with him. That is, in fact, Sanitar. Also, subscribe, f***ers, I know you're not. Sanitar has a few major spawn points, being the resort, the pier, and the cottages, but let's talk about his guards first, considering you're gonna run into those guys more often than you will the main boss. Now, these guys aren't like Killa, where they're just gonna power slide into you and kill you, right? And that's arguably the scariest part about that scav boss, so it's weird that these guys are also as terrifying, but don't power slide. The guards will sit around Sanitar. Sanitar mostly stays stationary, while his guys will fight whatever the hell going on, and they are your main worry. 100%. Sanitar himself, the actual boss, he's easy to fight. He has a wicked health pool, you know, but he has no armor to speak of. His 300-something health in the thorax is kind of scary. His 70 health in the head is a little scary as well, but nah, you can deal with it, kind of. His guards, they will be armored. Their lowest armor they can have is a Karasa, and that's the lowest armor they have. The next armor they can have is a Gazelle in terms of tier and quality, right? That's like a class 5 armor right there, you know? It's ceramic, it breaks fast, but still, it's a class 5 armor on a scav boss, alright? Be sure to check them if you kill them for what gear they have on. On top of that, they can have really good ammo in their guns. In the clip of me killing the one guard who was wearing the Karasa in the first floor resort, he had a Karasa on, but he also had a Golnik in his 60 round mags. And be warned, they're not to be taken lightly. The guards seem to follow a pattern where the guns they have will have two choices for ammo. One's usually like really bad, and one is the literal meta round for the caliber, which is insane. So in the 60 rounders, you have a choice of either a Golnik or BT. So you can't lose with those. And that is a far cry from most of the other ones. In the 7.62 AKs that can have sometimes, you either have T45M, the flesh damage round of the caliber, or you have BP, the literal meta round for the caliber. And then they can have a small chance to have Vepper Hunters, and if they have those, they either have Ultra Nausea, which is that little silver round, or they have M62, and they even have a chance to have M993 in their guns, you know? The top tier armor penetrating round that won't one-shot headshot them, or probably most people at range, which is weird. Uh, either way, just be sure to check their mags if you get them. Another thing to think about with the guards is they have a health pool that is slightly lower than Sanitar. Granted, they do have only 200 HP in the thorax compared to 360, but they still have a 55 health head. So, you know, kind of watch out. And their helmets they can have are also pretty good, too. They can have a basic Amercom cap. If they have that, you're lucky. Most of the time, they'll be running around with... Alt, they can have an Alton. They can have an Alton. They can have an LZSH, the black helmet with the face shield. That's just like an Alton. But most of the time, I find them wearing the ZSH helmets, the ones with the face shields on them, with no headphones on them. And I assume that's the most common, because that is what I see them always wearing. Sanitar has a few choices of guns, though, as you will see. I mostly see him run as VSS with really good ammo in it. All four options aren't really bad, except for maybe SP5. But his other options are as follows, and you can see them, you know, the OPSKS with PS rounds, a Remington 870 with AP-20, a Ketter with SP-7, and he always has an APS pistol on him. But look out for this as well, because just like Sturman, his melee weapon that he sometimes has on him can be worth a lot of money, because he has the Taiga, the Taiga Survival Machete. If you get that, you can have almost any barter trade you want on the flea market done. Like, if you want a key card, you can probably get one of those for a goddamn Taiga. That thing's insane. And one last thing, check the bags, pockets, and anything you can search on Sanitar and his guards. They can spawn with all the injectors you need for samples, and Sanitar can even have the tapes key with him, a LEDX, and even a few key cards possibly. You know, and he always has his labs key card with the blue mark on it to open up his room on labs, but you know, that's uh, whatever. And this goes for all the guards besides the items like key cards, keys, and the Ledex may be probably not spawning on the guards. Now let's talk about spawns. And oh my god, believe me, you want them to spawn at resort. I don't care if you like love fighting at cottages or if you're like, oh dude, no, I know peer in and out. Like, no, 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 no. 
You want them to spawn at resort. They can spawn at weather station. I have never seen them there yet. It is a weird spawn. If any scav boss spawns there, it's probably going to be the goon squad because they can spawn on all the maps now, pretty much. They are a nightmare to deal with anywhere besides resort. Resort has too many angles, too close corners. You can actually peek around them and kill them really easily there. And if you need to, nade spam. They're rogues. They're going to start running to their point that their AI has set for them, you know? And while they're running, just shoot them in the back. You can do it. But let's talk about how you actually deal and fight with these guys. You're going to have to treat them like the rogue AI. You're going to have to treat them like raider AI. You got to slowly lean to the right over a corner because they're not going to be able to see you. And that's when you can shoot them free, which is a great thing to do. Now, in the clip where I was on the stairs and I'm leaning over to fight the guys, it, it comes out pretty bad. I had to bait out a whole magazine from the guy just so he'd reload and I could shoot him. But it's better than nothing, all right? You need to right-hand peek these guys. People say a lot of things about right-hand peeking in PvP, and the reason is because your character model will show more if you're left-hand peeking. You know, it gives you a small advantage if you're right-hand peek first. And the rogues... They will kill you on a left-hand peek, no issue. You see that guy in the stairwell there? He left-hand peeked and gave me a brand new RD-704. Don't be that guy. Don't left-hand peek these guys. You gotta right-hand peek them, and how you do that is you hold control, and then you tap D to right-hand peek, which means you'll start leaning over to the right. And if you hold control and just tap D, you'll gain slow increments on your lean until you're all the way over to the right. Don't go all the way over to the right, Unless that's the bare minimum you can see them. You want to be like right on that fringe of being able to see them. You don't want to be able to see their full body. You want to see like most of their head is pretty much the cutoff point. Otherwise, they're going to start shooting at you. And they're dangerous if they see you at all. One last thing too is be conscious of where they are. You have to like map out in your memory and in your mind where they are at all times, especially because you need to know their locations so you don't go open and swing into a fight with one of them only for there to be the other one 20 feet down the hallway, because then they're going to kill you super easily. If you somehow manage to pull one of the guards out from the group, and you shoot him a bit, and he starts to run away, he's going to start healing. If you can follow him safely, and not run out into the open into more guards or Sanitar himself, you can kill him. Which is going to be great, because then he can get his shit, maybe kill the other ones. And this is the last thing I can give you to help you kill them, is that, oh my god, you have to mag dump these guys. Remember their giant health pools? Yeah, you gotta mag dump them. It is like a considerable requirement to fight these guys. When he heals, mag dump them. Most of this whole segment can be boiled down into just saying, yeah, you gotta mag dump them because they have so much goddamn HP, which they do. They have an absurd amount of it. Did you see how many shots it took me to kill Sanitar? Because it was a lot. You have to mag dump these guys. If you're thinking of like, oh, I can just snipe them from long range. Dude, if the regular scavs can see it over 100 meters, what the hell do you think these guys are going to do? They are so dangerous. There is so little chance of me wanting to actually go and snipe these guys. Because if I take one shot, even if I hit it, they're probably going to live, you know? M62, it can kill, it'll kill Sanitar and the goons, I think. I'd say it can. But the Alton, it can maybe bounce around off of it. It, it. They got 55 HP on the head for the guards, 70 on Sanitar, 70, yeah. M62. All right, it does 76 damage, I think, from memory. Flesh damage, you know, with really good penetration. That'll, that'll be enough to kill Sanitar. But then you take into effect drop-off damage and stuff like that, and you have no idea. So I just don't trust sniping a lot of guards unless it's Sherman, unless it's Gluhar, because those guys have a fairly normal amount of HP. You know? Sanitar is, like, number one most HP in the game, dude. And how you know these guys are in the game is if you hear some wild shit happening at one end of the map. And I mean, like, one specific spot on the map. If you hear that happening, if you hear, like, multiple fights going on at one certain point, just wait five, ten minutes in the raid. If that noise is still there, or if it's stopped, and you haven't heard anything else from any of the other points of interest on the map, Sanitar could be up there. If you want to check it out and go for it, you can, but you really gotta be behind cover the whole time you're going up to wherever the hell it is that they're at. Because if they're in the pier, watch out for that. Because that's a one-way-in, one-way-out area, and that's dangerous as hell to be on. If it's in resort, you know, you gotta really stick to the sides, you know? Stick close to the resort if you're going under the windows on first floor. But damn, these guys are hard to fight, and I hope this kind of helped you a bit. And I'll see you later.